Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another My Comic Book Collection video, picking up right where I left off last time. Now, I've just finished posting a Patreon exclusive video at Patreon slash Cessna Ace, link in the description box, because Saturday I received two packages containing more comics. So I did a video showing the contents of those packages. Now, where I left off last time was with the amazing Spider-Man. And if you will remember, at one point they switched from volume one to volume two. And when they did that, they began listing two issue numbers on the covers. One was the issue number for volume two and one was as if it were part of volume one. I love confusing things. However, by this point, they had stopped doing that and just referred to them as, well, this one, issue 540. No volume number at all. going to get more confusing in a minute. Right here we have the 97 annual for the Amazing Spider-Man. There is a rhyme to my reason or vice versa. Okay, this is a four issue mini series. Although Marvel True to Form kept it confusing. This is issue one. The title is Skating on Thin Ice. Okay. Now you would expect that issue two would be Skating on Thin Ice, part two. But no. Issue two is called Double Trouble. So if you were filing these and didn't know what you were doing, you would think they were different series. Issue three is Hit and Run. And issue four. Chaos in Calgary. Now this was published by Marvel Worldwide and I don't recall if this is a graphic novel or an omnibus. I think it's a graphic novel. Cover price, $18.99. However, that is not what I paid for it, even though it's in near mint condition. Because, periodically, I would see graphic novels and omnibus collections and that sort of thing on sale at Books A Million, a drastic reduction in price. And that's when I picked them up. Okay, now we're not going way back in time, even though we're going back to issue number one of The Amazing Spider-Man, because this is another volume, except they don't indicate the volume number. It's just issue number one. It's a rather cavalier attitude. Going around without your mask on. Or swinging around without your mask on. 
this is a really thick issue. I don't know how many pages there are, but let's see. Cover price five dollars and ninety nine cents. Issue six, which I have two copies of. Now I checked the tracking number in the bags that I ordered. I ordered 300 bags from Thanks from Another World. Are scheduled to be released or delivered on Monday. All right, this is issue seven. And again, I have two copies of this one. Issue eight. And I don't know why, but I have two copies of it. Issue 10. I do not have a duplicate of this. I wanted to make sure you notice this is not uh, damage to the cover. That was issue 10. Issue 11. There's good old Mary Jane. This is issue 12, and I have two copies of it. Issue 13. Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. And yes, when those bags come in, I will be putting each duplicate copy in its own bag with its own board. This was just something I did to buy me a few more bags and boards to uh, protect other comics. I still have about 80 that aren't in bags with boards. And I want to correct that. 18. Twenty-five, and this is a thick one too. Twenty-eight. 
26. And that's it for The Amazing Spider-Man currently. Okay, this is a series from Wildstorm. And it's a mini-series. This is issue three of eight. The American Way. So another series I'm going to have to try and complete. Issue four. And issue seven. Okay, next up, well, the first issue anyway, of a series from Image, Angela Glory. I might have to look into this series, see how many issues there are. Okay, in the old series that I did, 15 comics, which of course is no longer up because I rebooted it as my comic book collection, 30 comics. But at the time, this series was incomplete. But it's now complete. Although, we're not going to get to all the issues in this video. This is from Innovation. It is a 12-issue mini-series comic book adaptation of the Anne Rice novel, Interview with the Vampire. Which, if I remember correctly, was made into a movie. Issue two. Issue three. Issue four. This is one that I was missing. There's the invoice from the seller on eBay that I bought it from. And they did a really uh, good job with this. The uh, outfit is called New Kata. Kata spelled K A D I A dot com. Anyway. All the comics came with a bag and a board, which is not always the case with comics bought on eBay. And as I explained on Patreon, there was a sticker here that graded every aspect of the comic. Now, with one issue, I was able to get the sticker off, although it wasn't exactly perfect. 
you can tell. I don't know if you can tell or not. But it'll do for now. Now, Innovation did a number of 12 issue comic book adaptations of Anne Rice novels. I don't know if they're listed in here or not. But I know because I have some of them. And uh, New Kata, by the way, I have six months to order from them again and receive a discount and free shipping. And then finally for this video, this is issue five. That should have been 30. Okay. Oh, Patreon shout out. Mark McGillicott and Graham. I know I shout them out a lot, but um, they like the comic book videos. Until next time, stay awesome. Oh, if you would, please, uh, if you're not already a subscriber, click the subscriber button. I would greatly appreciate it. A thumbs up would be great, too. Until next time, stay awesome.